Hey guys, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is Survival Bomb, and today we are going to start our journey covering all of the weapons in No Man's Sky. I'm going to start with something that is really unique. It came out in this last update, the No Man's Sky Sentinel update. And uh, you're going to come over here to... Uh, I don't even know how to say this dude's name. I call him Sharkface. Come over here to Sharkface in the anomaly, and this is where you're gonna pick it up. You're gonna research multi-tool upgrades. Today, what we're gonna look at is a secondary weapon, and that's the paralysis mortar, because guys, this changes the game when you're fighting sentinels and hunting creatures as well in No Man's Sky. So the paralysis mortar is uh, unlocks from the plasma launcher in the space anomaly. So you're gonna wanna get the paralysis mortar, uh, and that is gonna require hermetic seals, the hydrogen jelly, and a wire loom to build. You're also gonna wanna take a look at the Voltic Amplifier. This is a generalized upgrade for all multi-tool weapon systems causing its projectiles to resonate dramatically upon impact with any appropriate electromagnetic field. And basically what it does is it gives plus 21% damage to stunned enemies. So we're gonna stun them with the Paralysis Mortar. This is gonna help us do more damage with the other weapons after we hit them. So that's all fun and well and good. Let's go and see what it looks like in the multi-tool and then let's go shoot some stuff, right? So the paralysis mortar is right here. I've got that installed. And then the Voltic amplifier, it's a, it's under the um, neutron cannon, but it doesn't get any kind of benefit from sticking to everything because it says it is a generalized upgrade. So they don't give you any stat boost by sticking it next to anything in there. So just stick it wherever it'll fit. But the paralysis mortar, that's where it's at today. So let's jump into it and see how it does. All right, here they come and let's get the paralysis mortar this works awesome when these guys cluster up like this watch bam and then you can start taking down these other guys and you there's no time limit so you can just keep hitting them just hit them again bam make sure you and it gives you time to reload you hit that guy while he is bringing in new guys and it's going to stop it immediately now this does use unstable plasma so you're going to want to use that to charge it keep it going helps totally with the reload now i'm using this in conjunction with the scatter blaster it's one of my favorites all-time favorite but we're going to be looking at everything in this series now you can switch your secondary weapon either uh down here in the utilities menu or uh on pc you're hitting middle mouse button you see it up in the top right it kind of tells you what to do but let me show you what it looks like when we get to the bigger fights try to hit them before you reload because you can't stop the reload which kind of sucks all right stop it Hit that, reload, shoot him in the back, and there you go. It's awesome doing this in Extreme Storm, I'll tell you what. And I'm in a tornado. He's still trying to shoot me. Don't worry, I'm coming back. I think, let me out, let me out. But you can stun the walkers too. Isn't that crazy? You just keep stunning them. Shoot him a couple times, stun him. Stop it. You can keep stunning them. Now at some point they may make a cooldown here because this is so overpowered right now. Would you go away please? Thank you. All right, me and you buddy, me and you. Just stand there while I reload, okay? There we go. Simple as that. During a storm, no less. Now, another cool thing that the stun grenades can do is uh, they can help you tame a buddy. Don't run away. No, 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 no. Come here, come here. It's cool. Here. There we go. Now we're friends, right? Yes. Just stun them, collect their milk. Uh, you can ride them if they're the right size. You can adopt them if you want. But, uh, but yeah, he's happy. He's following me. I can stun him again just for fun. Sorry about that. He's not happy anymore. So the stun grenade, use it. The tactics are amazing. What it lets you do. I don't know if it's gonna keep, I don't know if it's gonna stay this way. Uh, watch out for uh, hurricanes and uh, tornadoes as well. Cause they'll throw you in the air. Yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button before I hit the ground. Bam. 
Guys, let me know what weapon system you want to see next. That was the stun grenade, paralysis, mortar, and then we want to add the Vultic amplifier to that to get a 21% extra damage to stunned enemies. So make sure you've got those in. We're going to look at all of these, but I really want to hear what you guys want to hear next as far as the weapon systems go. So also, what's your favorite one? Let me know down in the comments. We'll see you soon, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, if you're going to be a Bob, have fun with it. And uh, if you're going to record... Uh, try not to record during a storm because uh, it looks it looks dumb. Whee! I love that you can emote. No, no, no. Just gonna sit down up here. <laughs>